Electric Bus Assembler Basigo, in partnership with Kenya Vehicle Manufacturers, has unveiled the country's next generation of electric buses. These buses, designed by Chinese automaker Kinglong, will now be assembled and serviced locally in Thika. Jasmine Omboy reports. Nairobi's public transport system is evolving. Electric vehicle maker Basigo has 76 buses in service and expects the fleet to hit 100 before the end of the year. Since 2022, the buses have ferried more than 8 million passengers, helping the country avoid importing over a million litres of diesel. Uh, Basigo has invested 3.5 billion Kenya shillings into the economy in charging infrastructure in buses that we have financed for bus operators. And in our partnership with Kenya Vehicle Manufacturers, we have invested in the first dedicated electric bus assembly line, which launched in December 2023, and which has already produced 53 electric buses here in Kenya. And now the company has introduced a new line of electric buses designed by Chinese bus maker King Long. These buses are specifically engineered to navigate Nairobi's challenging road conditions, fitted with stronger batteries and backed by local servicing for reliability. From 2026, production will increase to 20 buses every month. When Basingo introduced uh, the electric buses, the demand was very high, so we were actually given forms and we were doing a reservation with a fee. And OMA alone has a reservation of 67 electric buses. Uh, and uh, out of that, we, have, we only have 15. So now that uh, we have been assured that uh, production will be 20 per month, we, are, we have high expectation by 2027 we will be fully uh, supplied with all our reservations. The project is anchored at the Kenya Vehicle Manufacturers Plant in Thika, which now handles 13 brands and will begin rolling out Toyota units from March next year. Government leaders are optimistic, saying electric mobility is a solution to the country's largest import bill, petroleum. The government wants to create subsidiary industries that are necessary to support the automotive uh, industry. Uh, for example, um, there is a company called Linglong. It's the fourth biggest tire manufacturer in the world, and they are coming to start production in Mombasa uh, from next year. Investors are already eyeing a charging corridor from Nairobi to Mombasa at a time when the state has signed up to lease 300 electric vehicles in its own transition. Jasmine Wamboi, Citizen TV.